In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into how to edit the number of decimal places in a number and how to round numbers. Now, what I have here is a table with the prices for the fruits that I sell the market in Q117, Q118, and then I have calculated the year over year increase in the prices. If you don't know how to calculate that, there is a different tutorial for this. Now we're only looking into decimal places and rounding. So I have the same values in rows three and four, which are apples. And I'm going to show you the difference in when while playing with decimal numbers. So here I have two decimal numbers and let's in this case decrease it. So in order to do that, we can come here where I'm pointing my cursor to, and the one to the right is increase decimal places, and the one to the left decreases decimal places. So let's say I want to decrease the number of decimal places here. I click once, I decrease it by one, and you see the number is now 1.8. I click it once again, and now the number is two. So I have decrease, decrease the number of decimal places, but the number is still the same. So this is really important. This 175 is the same as this two. This two is just rounded, but the number is still 175. I'm going to show you how. So if you double click here, you're going to open the number and you see it's still 175. So if you were to perform any calculations with this number, this number is still being read by the spreadsheet as 175. You can also see this by clicking on the cell and coming here to the formula bar, you see that the number, I'm pointing my cursor here, the number is still 175. Uh, to demonstrate that very easily, we could just do equals and then this divided by two. And you see, if that was really a two, it would be a one. Instead, the result here is 0875 because the spreadsheet is dividing. 175 by 2. If I wanted to bring the decimal numbers back, all I have to do is again point my cursor up here to increase decimal places, click on it once, click on it twice, and the number is back. Now, if you wanted to round the number and have the rounded number on calculations, there is a formula that you can use, and the formula is going to be equals. So as always, when we're starting functions of formula, we use equals and we start typing round. The function is suggested here for me, rounds a number according to standard rules. So I'm going to click on round and I'm going to select the number that I want to round, which is apples. So the cost for apples in Q1, I'm going to add a comma. And the next value is the number of decimal places that I want. So let's say here, I don't want any decimal places. So we're just going to add a zero and I'm going to press return to have my results. So this 175 has been rounded by two. Now, if I were to perform a calculation with this two, now the spreadsheet is going to read it as a two. So let's say equals two divided by two. Now this is going to be one. This is very important whenever you have large uh, sets of data to make sure that if you are decreasing the number of decimal places, you still know that the number that counts is your original number. And if you are rounding with round, the round formula, then that's the number that is going to be taken into the calculation. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, the spreadsheet that I'm working on is available and linked below on the comment box. All you have to do is open the link, then click on file, make a copy and save a copy to your drive. Thanks for watching.